Hello everyone, welcome back in to Stardew Valley. Today is fall the 23rd. Nothing going on today. Uh, it did say that our copper trash can was ready though. So we can go pick that up. Uh, it is windy today. It'll be windy tomorrow as well. Ooh, we got good luck today. Uh, our inventory is looking good. We have a few quests that we can complete. Mm, maybe we'll go do those today. Also, there we go. <laughs> Bothering me that it wasn't centered. I'm sorry if that bothered you as well. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to say thanks for taking an interest in my work. Here's a cooking recipe I like. Autumn bounties from Demetrius. Oh, well, thank you. I took care of a bunch of our gathering around the farm. Hello, Robin. <sighs> we can't talk to you. That's okay. <laughs> Let's go take a peek in our mushroom cave. Well, nothing's ready, but we do have the dried mushrooms to collect. Uh, we got some moss that is growing around here. It's hard to uh, see in here. Ooh, we do need to make some more tappers. Where did I get the bridal shirt from? What? <laughs> What? I wasn't even paying attention. Where did I get that? That is hilarious. Well, we got a large amount of pumpkins to harvest. And we do have to start putting our kegs in there. Um, I feel like they can have a chance to turn into a large crop if we just let them sit. So I'm just going to let them sit <laughs> until the end of the month. Now we got to go take care of our animals. Looks like I remember to clear out my makers last night for once. Hello, everyone. Oh, yeah, I got the auto collector, so I don't need to collect from them anymore with the milking pail. This can be... Now we can just do this. Oh, that's so useful. <laughs> Y'all can come outside. Oh, I accidentally clicked the wrong uh, <laughs> side of the mouse. I'm sorry for trying to milk you. I did not mean it. It's nice out, so everyone can come outside. Um, okay. Have we sold the large milk? Yes. And what about the large goat's milk? We have not. Well, we got a good one, so I'll, uh, I'll ship that one. What about the eggs? I haven't shipped a large egg for either of them. Or a duck egg. Wow, I have been slacking. Okay. Uh, we'll change that one. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to start, uh thinking about finishing up our collections page because we are going to need that if we want to complete a perfection run. Okay, well, that is it for our farm chores for the morning. It is 12.40. So what are we gonna get up to today? Well, it's a Tuesday. Uh, we have good luck. I kind of want to go into the mines because our ore stock is getting kind of low. 
Oh wait, it's a Tuesday. Ooh, maybe we can go see a uh, what the mumbling of my words. <laughs> maybe we can go see what the like the large bulletin board quest is. We can go do that. Uh, I need some more copper, so we'll do that. And I'll make as many tappers as I can. Where is my wood? Then I have two of these. Let's put it on our maple tree. There we go. Okay, off to the mines. Oh, we found the berry basket. Better return it to Linus. It is over here along the road, uh, past the bus stop. Ooh, Willie wants a super cucumber and we'll get a ticket. We gotta try. <laughs> we gotta try. like they're having a checkup today. I didn't bring anything for uh, gifts today. Uh, who wanted a pumpkin? Caroline. Is she inside her house? She is. Oh my gosh, it's already 3.20. I feel like I'm just wasting this day away. Hello? Hello? Oh, you're Max Hearts now. Okay, we need to get a bouquet for you. Uh, oh, I heard you got a new kitchen. I think you'll be doing a lot of cooking. Uh, yeah, totally. Good skill to have, and with all those fresh ingredients from your farm, you'll be sitting pretty. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so that's one quest done. And we have an added to it. <laughs> okay, next we're going to go see Linus and the bulletin board. Okay, what do we have here? Juicy bugs. Looking for big water bug guts. Do you see the better? I need a hundred of them. Okay, that one will be a lot easier to do later on. For unknown reasons, the uh, blah, 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 blah. For unknown reasons, the local population of ocean fish has grown to an outstanding level. I need an angler to help reduce their numbers. We're going to be fishing in the ocean for a super cucumber, so sure, I will take that. Uh, nothing specific, just 20 ocean fish. Okay, that's simple enough. Hi, Sam. Well, I guess we're uh, not doing the mines today, but instead we're going to go fishing. <laughs> well, we haven't been here in a little bit, so let's do some beach combing. Oh, I still have uh, the crab pot down here. I don't want to use my deluxe bait on it, though. Ooh, some wormies. That's new. Perfect. Hi, Willie. I'm going to fish beside you. That good? Here, I'll stand more with you. to head back I caught 16 fish here in the ocean not one of them was a super cucumber 
I am so upset. This is the hull that we got. Got a couple of treasure chests, some rubies, some row, a mystery box. We did good, but not what we were looking for. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's going on? I guess you're wondering why I'm in the graveyard at this hour. Uh, kind of. Why is there a sword there? Well, I'm here because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. Okay. And I'm all sweaty because <laughs> I've been practicing my swordsmanship. Why are you practicing in the graveyard? Just go into the mines. Hey, what? You think I'm too weak to swing a blade? Not at all. Sorry, I guess I'm getting a little defensive. You see, I want to explore the mountain caves, but I know it's too dangerous to go there unarmed. Yeah, I guess so. You used a sword before, haven't you? We have four options here. The first two, yes, it's exciting. Yes, only in self-defense. We'll give you both 10 points each. Yes, but it's dangerous. You should stay safe. Is minus 100 friendship. That seems like quite a lot because that doesn't even sound that. I guess saying, yes, I've used a sword, but we're telling her it's dangerous. Don't go, which I, I can understand. Uh, and no, <laughs> no friendship effects. Um, yes, it's exciting. <laughs> See, you understand why I'm out here then. I've lived in the valley my whole life, but I've never really done anything memorable. I want to go on an adventure. Abigail? <gasps> Pierre! Dad! <laughs> Look at that face. Why are you hiding behind a tree? She wanted privacy. I've been looking all over for you. Your mother wants me to come home and help with dinner. What were you doing behind that tree? What were you doing in the graveyard anyway? This is no place for a young lady. Dang. Mind your own business. You think I should be at home cooking dinner because I'm a girl, don't you? Damn. You're really stuck in the past, Dad. Let's get out of here, Jessie. Her eyes were like red. That was scary. <laughs> Are you coming or not? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm coming. Come back. No, Pierre. You're bad man. <laughs> okay, Pierre's not bad, but. Okay, my dad will find us here. Sigh, can you believe my parents were ever young? They don't understand my perspective at all. I know, I know. They grew up in a different era with different values. It still ticks me off sometimes, okay? Well, thanks for hearing me out, Jesse. Um, now, could you help untangle my hair from this bush? <laughs> Aww. Abigail is so sweet. Oh. I've never actually married Abigail before. Maybe we should uh, think about doing that in this playthrough. I don't know who I'm going to marry yet. Home, sweet home. Oh. <laughs> I'm almost dead. Okay, I'm going to sort out this inventory and I will see you guys in a second. Oh, I really pushed the time today. Yes, go to sleep.
Well, we made a good amount of money. Ooh, the caviar, 700. That's so good. A uh, bit of foraging. Sold all of our fish that we caught. 15k. Not bad. I will take that. It is the 24th day, and it's George's birthday. Okay, well, we'll have to go give him something. Uh, tomorrow, it's going to be rainy. Ooh, we have bad luck. And the mackerel. We already know how to make that. Uh, I'm going to pop these in here. We don't really need the sonar bobbers. It's fine. Oh, hello. Hi, Jesse. Good morning. You seem to be doing well. The farm looks great. Oh, thank you. So, you've been here a while, and I'm sure you're acquainted. What? So, you've been here a while, and I'm sure you've acquired some cloth by now, right? I did. I got into my little uh, recycling machine. Well, did you know that you can use cloth to tailor all kinds of clothes? All you need is access to a sewing machine. And I happen to have one at home. Feel free to swing by and use it anytime. Oh, thank you. You can now access Emily's sewing machine. To start tailoring, you'll need a piece of cloth and a secondary item. Experiment and see what unique styles are out there. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, from Emily again. <laughs> I have this crazy new idea that I want to involve you in. It's called clothing therapy. Please come to the mayor's house today and see what it's all about. Love, Emily. Love. Ooh, guess I got some s'more spaghetti. Thank you, guys. Uh, looking around, it looks like we don't have much to harvest today, which is okay. Let's see here. These are all done. Ooh, our new fish pond is done. Let's get a fish to put in there. Uh, do you have a few things to harvest? I think that's it. Uh, we want to put a fish in there. Where was I keeping my fish? Oh, wait. Oh, I have a super cucumber. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. So we have our sturgeon, we have a rainbow trout, and I'm going to put a super cucumber in this one. We'll save that one. We can go give that to Willie today. Uh, our sunflowers popped. We're gonna take these because we don't want the bees to take the sunflower. Perfect. Uh, there wasn't any mushrooms available yesterday, which means that they are available today. Before the latest 1.6 update, you were able to come into Mushroom Cave every day they would pop. But he didn't nerf it and it only goes off every two days now. Which is fine, especially with later on in the day. I uh, start to not check it as often. Uh, do we have room? We'll have enough room. Let's go say good morning to our animals. Ooh, we got an iridium level for the duck egg. So we'll be sure to sell that. And everything is full. So we can leave all those in there. And yeah, that's about it. Bye, guys. Let's take a peek in our greenhouse. Ooh, we have stuff ready today. There we go. I placed down the coffee beans so we can start getting more coffee. But everything is looking good in there. 
Our pumpkins are all still basic quality. Oh, hello. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, Lewis is not happy. Hey, what do you think you're doing? That's private property. Sam! Uh, er, uh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> sigh, the youth these days. Sometimes I wonder if this town isn't doomed. Hey, I'm just chilling in this bush, you know, like I usually do. <laughs> you saw what happened, Jesse. What do you have to say about this? Uh, we got three options here. Keep in mind that this is an event for Sam. Uh, this is his sixth heart event. None of these options actually give you a friendship effect. So you can say whatever you want. Um, but it is Sam's event, so probably not the first one. Uh, I think this one sounds the best. Don't blame Sam, there's nowhere else for him to ride. Exactly! If there was a park in town, I could ride there and everyone would be happy. I mean, we do have a park up by the community center. Maybe just put some kind of skateboard thing up there as well. Huh, I thought you were more mature than this. Oh, Lewis, go away. Sam, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Just please try not to damage anything in the future. Got it? <sighs> yes, sir. Look at this space. You can put something here for you to grind against. Did you see that trick, though? That was rad. <laughs> Sam is a funny one. So I filled up my inventory. We got a lot to do today. Oh my god, another ticket. Shane needs a hazelnut. Shane, I will get you that hazelnut. That is so simple. Harvey, hello. Um, okay, so I got a bunch of stuff. We're gonna go to Clint's, and then I got some stuff for gifting. Um, who was it? Emily is our one that we need to give the bouquet to. Uh, I brought a piece of corn for Alex. He's so hard to gift. I put so much gel in my hair, it kind of hurts. Don't touch it. Okay. It is George's birthday today. So we're going to give him a leak. Six hearts, oh my goodness. And since we're here, we will give a flower to Evelyn. Oh, you're welcome. She loves the fairy rose flowers. Stopping by Clint's, hello. Uh, here, have an amethyst. I have some work for you. Also, grab our copper trash can. Uh, process geodes, please. Ooh, mega bombs. Okay, that sucked. <laughs> Are you serious? Stop giving me stone. I mean, we need copper, but... Okay, that's new. Uh, we've already gotten some. It's not that good. Yes, that's what we need. Perfect. Okay, we got a few things. Uh, they're all new. Perfect. Um, I want to upgrade. We're probably not going to go into the mines today because it's late. Yeah, let's do our pickaxe. Okay, thank you.
Ooh, lots of people in the library today. I have a bunch of stuff for you. Uh, dinosaur. Here. <laughs> purple. Oh, my purple slot is full down there. Uh, sure, I'll put it up there. A dwarf item. And that's it. Perfect. We got two rewards. Ooh, a new rare crow. Yes, we want that. Do I want to pick up anything else while we're in here? Uh, I mean, the vase would be pretty. I'll leave the other things for now. <laughs> okay. So we're going to head up north. Oh, no, we have to go to Willy. So we'll go to Willy, give that to him, and we'll go up north to get rid of those. Hi, Willy. Just gonna double check that it's you. Uh, super cucumber. Oh, for dinner. Um, oh, you can. Okay. I was like, I don't know if you can eat them. I'm thinking of the puffer fish. So the bulletin board. I appreciate it. Here's your payment. Seven fifty. Ah, uh, thank you. And we got a ticket. Let's check out the bobbers. We've gotten a couple of new ones. Oh, the ship is really cute. Let's change the ship for a bit. What's that? Is it supposed to be a pig? <laughs> uh, the hawk. I mean, it's a. That would be below the water. Doesn't it really make sense? Wild seed, a boot. Let's go with the ship for a little bit. Change it up. Oh, hello. Um, I was actually exiting your shop, not coming over from over here. Ah, uh, it's a good thing you turned up, miss. I've got a, a bit of a problem I could use a hand with. Uh, it'd be best if I just showed you. Okay. Take a deep breath now. Why is it smelling here again? I don't want to stick my hand in any more jellies. Oh. You are overrun by crabs in here, sir. Where did these all come from? I was just here. As you can see and smell, the old girls ran wild last night. My experiment needs a little work. <laughs> Gus, what are you doing here? Whew, back at it again, huh, Willie? They look fresh, all right. Aye, these are the finest, meatiest crabs you've ever set your eyes on. They'd be a little too feisty, though. I'll take the whole lot. With a discount for the extra labor, of course. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I was wondering who would, uh come by here. I guess Gus would come by here pretty often, eh? To buy fish for his saloon. Looks like we got them all. Goodbye, my sweet ladies. Psst, Jessie, don't tell Willie, but I'll be doing a special on crab cakes at the saloon for the next few days. That is true. For the next couple of days, uh, Gus will actually be selling some crab cakes at a discounted rate. Oh, I missed that I'm talking. <laughs> uh, he'll be selling them at a discounted rate for the next couple of days. While we're here, I thought I would cut down some, or cut down, <laughs> catch some fish to finish this off. Uh, oh, I thought I would have to go talk to him, but I guess I don't. We got $1,500 just from catching fish in the ocean. Easy enough. And we get a prize ticket for our troubles. Since we're here. Oh! 
I forgot, Emily sent us this in the mail. Welcome to clothing therapy. You're probably wondering, what is clothing therapy? I'll try to explain. So many of us are struggling with personal issues, things holding us back from living how we want. It's important to me that everyone has a free and happy life, so I came up with a new kind of therapy to help people achieve that. It's based on the amazing power of self-expression. Self-expression is a wonderful healing tool, did you know that? Behind this curtain, you'll find racks and racks of clothes. There's endless options to choose from. Your job is simple. Find the outfit that surely speaks to you and put it on. Feel confident in yourself and your choice. You all have a unique style to share with the world. Shane, you're up first. Ah, Jesse, you're just in time. Just observe and keep an open mind, okay? Yeah, sure. Though, I would love to try on some clothes, too. Oh. <laughs> wow. Got a punk rocker vibe. Shane, it's a new side of you I've never known about. That's great. Now go outside with confidence and show the world. Sure. <laughs> okay, everyone gets a turn. Oh, no. Clint, why are you worried? Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, she looks so pretty. With her hair down? Let's see what Demetrius thinks. <laughs> Go get your mans, Robin. Sure, why not? Mirror's going in. What's it gonna look like? Not bad. Ooh, fancy. He did his mustache as well. <laughs> Me next. Okay, Abigail, go on in. What are you gonna change into? Oh, a suit of armor. That will definitely help you out in the mines. It's sweaty in here. <laughs> yeah, there's probably not a lot of ventilation. Clint, you're up. Oh, Mimi? Yeah, you're the only one left in here. Okay, Emily, I'll do it. Head on in. What are you gonna change into? What are you gonna showcase to Emily? Ooh, fancy. Aw, cute. Aw, cute? <sighs> yeah, I don't think guys really like to be called cute. Well, that went very well. I just hope this experience helps everyone break out of their shells a bit. Jesse, um, I couldn't do it. I don't want to break out of my shell. Oh, I, I guess I'm interrupting something here, aren't I? No, we were just talking. I understand. I'll leave now. Congrats, Jesse. Congrats? Why are you congratulating me? Well, that was interesting. I have prize tickets. We got another apple seed. And a book! Friendship 101. Ooh, we can get one of uh, the fish dehydrator, I think it is. New item in the game. It doubles the amount of uh, profits from fish that you put in. And it looks like a Joja cap. We're okay. We don't want Joja. Let's take a look at this book, though. Friendship 101. You become friends with people a lot faster. Well, let's give this a read. Learned a new power. Nice. That goes in our collections, right? 
Is there somewhere that we can see? Oh, here, special items and powers. Yeah, okay. We've found five books so far and the force magic. <laughs> All right, it looks like we have a lot more things to find in this game. Hi, Gus. Are you selling them already? You are. Ooh, we can buy them unlimitedly. Let's buy a couple. Uh, they are one of Elliot's favorite gifts, so that would be helpful for us. Uh, that's it. Oh, we can also buy spaghetti from here. I didn't notice. My friend runs a shop in the desert. If you ever go there, stop and say hi to me. Well, would you like a bouquet, Emily? You want to get more serious? I feel the same way. Emily has a big smile on her face. Oh, it's exciting. One down. Ooh, we have a cutscene here with Linus taking a dip in the pond. Ah, that feels good. The water's never been cleaner. Oh, this is from us cleaning up the trash from the water. And the same goes for me, hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> oh, here's our hazelnut that we can give to Shane. Robin, I brought spaghetti for you. You're welcome. I do want to collect this moss while we're up here. Allow us to see over here. Okay, I don't see any wormies or forage bowls. Linus, wait! I have your basket! Come back! There you go! <laughs> My basket! Thank you! Um, here, have blackberry as well. Uh, Demetrius, hello. Have a blackberry as well. <laughs> Ooh, plums. We want the plums. Since we're here, I know we gave up our um, our pickaxe, but I would really like to clear this out. Home, sweet home. We have a packed inventory, so I'm gonna settle all of this. And then I think I'm just gonna work on the farm. Get some things done before we head off to bed. Time for bed. Um, I'm gonna put the cucumber that, or the cucumber, the, uh, sea cucumber that I caught in here because there are some special dishes we can make with it. And let's tuck in for the night. Okay, we made a good amount of money. Six thousand, that's not bad. The 25th, nothing happening today. It is raining. It would be a good day for the mines if uh, <laughs> we didn't give our pickaxe away. Uh, and it's good luck today. Come on. We got some mail. Thanks for your help with the fish. Nature is usually good at keeping things balanced, but sometimes artificial factors can cause an imbalance. I've enclosed a blueprint from a science magazine you might find interesting. Demetrius, a farm computer. Okay. Emily, hope you're enjoying the gift I sent you. <laughs> sure. Let's take a peek at what that farm computer does. Um, here it is. 
scans the farm and displays useful information. Needs a dwarf gadget. Well, interesting. Okay. Uh, we'll sell this. Thanks, Emily, but it's, it's fine. We got a bunch of stuff harvested. We got some raw, some tree sap. Oh my gosh, there is so much to collect today. And we got some honey and stuff in here done. No big guys just yet. Here, I'll just place them down like this because <clears throat> it would be nice to have these right by the fish ponds. Then we can just pop them in there. We'll put some extra ones in the, uh, not the greenhouse, <laughs> the shed. Take a peek at our greenhouse. Everything is moving along. Oh, these are all done. Now, since it's raining, we're not going to be able to let our little animals out today. Hello, everybody. It looks like one person ate the food in here. Weird. <laughs> Collect all this, and this is full, so I'm just going to take some out. Oh. Well, that is all of that done. Make sure we put everything in our makers. Uh, yeah, that looks like everything for in there. Okay, well, early day for our things to be done. Now, what should we do today? It's a rainy day. We could go fishing. Uh, look at our quest. Ooh, we have to bring Shane a hazelnut today. Oh, maybe we'll go see Jody. Oh, hello, Elliot. We're finally able to enter your little house. Jesse, come in. Welcome to my humble, well, shack. <laughs> this is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a writer. Have I told you that? That's why I live out here by myself. I figured a lonely life by the sea would help me focus on my literary aspirations. Everyone back home said I was nuts, that I can never make it as a writer. Can you believe it? They said for every successful author, there is a thousand who fail miserably. Such pessimism, it's sickening. I can see it in your eyes. You believe in me, Jesse. You've got that spark. Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. A question, what kind of books do you like? Um, I don't believe any of these really matter it, for relationship wise. Um, it does affect something later on, though. Uh, personally, I like myself some romance books. Ah, uh, one of the classic genres. I'll remember that. Well, enough talk about me. You probably know a lot about plants, don't you? Not a fair bit. Would you mind taking a look at this rose here? I'm afraid it's not doing so well. Well, roses aren't normally an indoor kind of plant, so that's probably your problem there. Excuse the mess. I brought you a crab cake. We are making our way up with him. A painting by Leah. Cute. What's over here? A blank book. Trying to grow a bonsai tree. Oh. Mini palm imported from Calico Desert. Okay. Interesting little nook you got there. Let's take a peek over here while we're here. I 
honestly think today is gonna be like a write-off day kind of just going around taking care of little things we could do some fishing maybe cut down some trees as well hi Shane I know you're working but you requested this payment Uh, you were supposed to give me a ticket, sir. Is it because he's working? Why didn't I get a ticket? Oh no. Is that a bug, maybe? Let's wait until he comes outside. Maybe it'll work then. No. Oh no! That quest had a ticket on it, but he never gave us one. Hmm. Well, that's frustrating. Okay, well, we got the rest of the day for us. What should we do today? Oh my gosh, look at all of these blackberries up here. I, uh,. Don't come over here that often, as it's plainly obvious. Well, I guess today it's 7.30 already. We just kind of ran around doing nothing. Um, I think today we will do some work around the farm. Oh, I forgot to sell that. And do we do some cleanup, some organizing, just... Get everything situated. I think it's a good day for that. Okay. Well, I did a few chores around the farm, some cleanup, but it is time for bed. And that is also going to mark the end of this episode. Thank you, everyone, so, so much for joining me today. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. Get notified when I post next. See you guys later. Bye, guys.